This is a humanitarian daily ration, also known as an HDR. It looks a lot like a meal ready to eat, an MRE. That's because they're very similar. There are a few differences and we might point out a few of those later on in the video. They're made by the same company that makes MREs. And you might be surprised to know that MREs currently on Amazon for a case of 12 of them, it's like $135. Where the HDRs are going for a case of 10, that's two fewer per box, for 35 bucks. So it's a lot cheaper. Um, these are dropped all around the world on humanitarian missions to places and countries that are having a lot of trouble, uh, civil war, warmongering, um, criminal governments that lock up their political enemies, you know, wild and crazy stuff like that. That's where these get dropped. I'm sure glad we don't live in a place like that. You'll notice uh, one difference right away between this HDR and an MRE is the, the packaging. This is kind of like a, a pinkish, peach colored, some call it a salmon color. These used to be bright yellow until November of 2001 when these were being dropped over in Afghanistan. And the yellow packaging was the exact same color as the unexploded bomblets from cluster bombs. So. Buster bomb would be dropped, some of the bomblets wouldn't explode, and people would think, oh look, there's food packages, and they were running out, and it was very tragic. So they changed the color of this after 2001 to this pinkish color. As I'm filming this video, it's early March 2024, and for humanitarian purposes, these were dropped just about a week ago over in Gaza. I think they dropped like 68 pallets of these to help feed hungry people. There have been two occasions where these HDRs have actually been dropped within the United States for United States citizens. Uh, once was after Hurricane Katrina, and another time was after Hurricane Rita. I've seen other videos on YouTube where they showcase the humanitarian daily ration and they explain that there's two different menus. However, I have five different menus in this case. There's two each for a total of 10 HDRs. These HDRs have approximately 2,200 calories each, and humanitarian daily ration would suggest that this package contains enough food for someone to survive a day or more in some cases. These rations have a shelf life of three years. Um, now, you do you. I imagine they're probably good for longer than that, but always read and follow the labeling and directions and all that, but it says three years. so. A lot of people have this misconception that MREs and the like are good forever. That's not the case. They do have dates that they're best used by. Another difference between the HDR and an MRE is that these are all totally vegan. They're made in such a way that it would be acceptable for different religions throughout the world to consume this food and not, and not violate their religious beliefs as far as what they can eat goes. So I've invited my beautiful wife out for a lovely dinner. I told her to be at her favorite restaurant, The Barn. <laughs> oh, she probably thinks I prepared her favorite meal, steak. Oh no, there's no steak in these. Remember, they're totally vegetarian. So we'll see. We'll, we'll, I'll open one, she'll open the other, and we'll show you what they look like. We'll taste them and give you our opinions on them. Shit. 
Meal number three. Oh, a bag within a bag. All right. Meal number three is rice with vegetables. We got vegetable barley stew. Let's see. Oh, peanut butter. I just told him it didn't have peanut butter. Now, in all the MREs, when we get peanut butter or anything, you really want to knead it well. Otherwise, the oil is going to separate from the butter and you're going to have an oily mess. What do we got here? It looks like a, a shortbread cookie. An oatmeal cookie. We got the uh, spoon. Looks like sugar, salt, pepper, a wet wipe, and a napkin. Some strawberry jam. Uh, unroasted toaster pastry, brown sugar. Yeah. Vegetable crackers. And rice with vegetables. What'd you get? Things I eat every day. <laughs> <clears throat> I got peas in tomatoes. No, oh, I've peed in tomatoes once. <laughs> I just peed in tomatoes outside. <laughs> um, I also got veggie barley stew. Nice. That's, I mean, I just had that like three times this week. Um, a shortbread cookie. Nice. And I'm thinking that accents with the strawberry jam. All right, I'll open my peanut butter then. Okay. And you open the jam. Well, I got more. I have a lot more. Yeah, this is like a day's worth of food. This isn't just one meal. <clears throat> I got vegetable crackers. That's what they called me in high school. <laughs> An oatmeal cookie. I got matches. What? You got matches? You got matches too. I already peed. Oh, yeah. There I are got matches. Peanut butter. And unfrosted toaster pastry with brown sugar. No. I don't like sweets, so do you want to make a trade? Oh, you have the time honored MRE tradition of trading. Mm, this is what I got on the table so far. Oh, what, what? oh wait, yours looks better than mine. Look at that. The barley's too. That's the rice with vegetables. I think I'll do the, uh, kind of interested in what this toaster pastry looks like. I bet it looks like a, like a pop tart. Yeah. Oh, look at this. It's just a Pop-Tart. <laughs> it says Pop-Tarts right on it. Inside of your packet, do you have like salt and pepper? Or... Yeah. You got sugar, fresh pepper, salt and pepper. Well, that's convenient. It feels like there's two of them here. But... <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's two, but they don't want to come apart. Mm. It's really dry, like, you know when you cook rice, but for not long enough? Like, you halfway cooked it? That's how dry this rice is. It tastes good. Vegetable cracker. This cracker is, tastes like how my feet smell. <laughs> <clears throat> that bad, huh? No, like Dreams, a little bit. The crackers are pretty dry, but they're not as bad as like what I remember the old MRE crackers being. 
And the peanut butter is great. The accessories. <clears throat> you got a napkin, crushed red pepper, a fresh nap, moist toilette, book of matches, salt and pepper, two packs of sugar, shortbread cookie, and an oatmeal cookie, some jam, and a uh, vegetable barley stew for like a second meal of the day. All right, this Pop-Tart looks kind of like it's got a coat of wax or something on it. But let's see if it tastes like a Pop-Tart. It's definitely a Pop-Tart. I'd say other than having a little bit different look and feel to it, a different sheen, it tastes exactly like a Pop-Tart because that's what it is. Well, my HDR came with extra sweets. So I got the strawberry jam, the peanut butter, shortbread cookies, oatmeal cookies. I got the toaster shirt looking thing. Mine also came with Cabernet. I don't know why John's didn't. <laughs> but uh, I do appreciate the United States government for that. Sometimes it's hard to get through tough times like this. But I gotta say, <clears throat> this uh, is it barley tomato soup. Yeah. Oh, it is really good. The crackers are as dry as I am. I have no sense of humor. Um, let's see. That's matches. Fresh naps. We know what those are for. Sugar. The great thing about this is I've got a lot to trade. I don't eat sweets. So, I've got a white array. I'm going to trade John here for some, uh, some of his tasty treats. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's not too spicy. Gives it a nice little hint. It's missing garlic. I feel like garlic should just be a part of every. Well, they had to keep in mind of like cultural sensitivities and religious stuff. So maybe yeah. garlic somewhere is like, you can't eat it. Oh, like Transylvania? Yeah. <laughs> <Don't Like>... <laughs> <laughs> in case they drop it on the vampires, <laughs> they don't want to offend them. Yeah. Yeah, because this didn't have much for flavor, so. That? Yeah. It, I mean, it had a little bit, but it's kind of just really generic. So the crushed red pepper, here's mm -hmm. some without the red pepper, but. Oh my God, my mental mind's way better. It's so dry. I know. Try mine. I did put salt and I put the red pepper on there. Not a whole lot because I got a whole lot more to use it for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Way better. That's actually really good. This, I know. This is not. <laughs> this is like if I was starving, I'd be very happy to have this. Yeah. But I wouldn't order it like I'd order that at a restaurant. Oh, yeah. You can finish yeah. mine off. No, it's okay. Unless you don't want it. If I got this, I'd be like, end the war now. <laughs> Make a peace treaty, please. This food sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we give up. Do you want to try the Pop-Tart? No, it's a Pop-Tart. You know, yeah. You've had brown sugar Pop-Tart. I don't like sweets. That's why it's up here for trade. Yeah. Uh, we would get in the military, they would just give you whatever, and then you would trade things that your MRE had or whatever. Or maybe you didn't like the peanut butter. The, the best thing to get was the uh, the jalapeno cheddar sauce, it was like a 
Velveeta cheese with jalapenos in it. Then that was worth like you would you would trade your whole entree. <clears throat> that, you know. Well, when I was down in New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina, nothing was open, and they would give us these. The military was there, and they'd give us these packs of food because nothing was mm -hmm. open. But we had to eat this pill with it so we could. Ooh. Yeah. So I'm like, I was looking for that in this pad, and I don't see it. No, I don't see it there. So this must be better quality. I was, because it's recording right now. I was talking earlier about there's only been two times in U.S. history where these have been dropped in America. And one was Hurricane Katrina, and one was Hurricane Rita. So, oh man, that red peppers. It's fire. It's heartburn. The ones we got from the the army, they weren't this nice. Yeah, I, I think these are nicer than the ones, at least <laughs> what I remember from the military. It's been a long time since I've had an MRE from the military, but so maybe. These are a lot nicer. Yeah, the, the peanut butter is better <laughs> than what I remember from my military days. I don't ever remember getting like cookies. Or... There's no orange drink either. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, usually they would have little coffee packs, mm -hmm. little cocoa packs. Um, you can make like ranger pudding where you put the water and the coffee and mix it with the, the cocoa. And a little jar of uh, Tabasco sauce. Mm -hmm. Remember the little... Mm -hmm. That was my first Tabasco sauce experience. I think a lot of people... <clears throat> really? Yeah. I think that a lot of people like go into the military never having had Tabasco sauce. And then they get that MRE and they're like, what's this? And they're hooked. There's only like one place in the whole world that grows Tabasco peppers. As an, as an island? Yeah. Off Louisiana. We should go there. We should go there. That'd be awesome. Dude, is that what that was? That's, that's what I have. Yeah. Look at that. You can bring that to work for lunch tomorrow. Mm, I might. <laughs> hey, what you got for lunch? Humanitarian daily ration food. <laughs> I work with a lot of... I'm changing my oatmeal sourdough cookie. <laughs> I work with a lot of military older gentlemen. They're all getting ready to like retire. Well, they'd be... Oh, they they'd lose it. They'd be so excited. You know what? Can I bring that to work tomorrow? Oh, heck yeah. I'll treat you this. <laughs> pea and tomatoes. Pea and pea. Is that, you didn't eat that. I opened it and I took a little, like. You know who would like this? The chickens. The chickens? Yeah. I don't like peas. Take a look. It tastes like. I don't know. Peas and tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, like, tastes... That's my, that was my Native American name. Peas and tomatoes. What are you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> I would assume that's... I don't know. It reminds... The taste reminds me of the smell of pea. <clears throat> if you like peas, yeah. I'm assuming you'd really like it. You know? It's almost like a chili. Are there beans in it too? Like Maybe they're like chickpeas. Chick chickpeas. Yeah. That must be what they are. Because mm -hmm. it's beans. It's like a chili, but with no spice. Well, hey, look at <laughs> have spice. <laughs> I gotta take this to work with me tomorrow. You take a whole here. Is there another number two in there? Yeah, there's two of each. One through five. <laughs> you want you want to take a number two at work? I take a number two. Yeah, I'll take a number two at work. <clears throat> we should probably save those. No. They're, on Amazon, this whole box, like if it was MREs, would be $140. The humanitarian daily rations, 35 bucks. So there's 10 of them. That's $3.50 each. Look at that. Sack lunch. Can you imagine sending the kids to school? Okay, kid, this is your daily ration. So make sure, make sure to save your peas and tomatoes for after school snack. You can reuse these. Hell yeah, you can. 
nice. These are I'm taking these home. Yeah, these are nice. <clears throat> I don't need the jelly. Oh, I don't know. There's oh, for the cracker. What'd you want? I guess. Did you get strawberry jelly? I did. Hey, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And definitely, for sure, make sure you at least check out the comment section. It might be an interesting one this time around. But go ahead and leave a comment, too. I will see you down the trail somewhere. Until then, have a great day.